Welcome to another fishing video guys. So yesterday I was out fishing for some sea trout but it was too windy and honestly it is windy today as well so I won't be able to fish for some sea trout. However I uh, can always fish from the pier. Let's see how it goes. Let's go! shrimps isn't completely defrosted so I'm gonna put them in the water that will make them defrost much faster Now we're fishing. Finally got him. <laughs> Let's see what we got. It doesn't feel big. Oh, that is a beautiful flatfish. That's a keeper. Didn't feel big because he was swimming towards me. Thank you for your sacrifice. You won't go to waste. Oh, perfect, you're bleeding as well. I didn't have to cut the gills. This is nerve shaking. This is life. That's how we get food on the table. It started to rain, but that won't stop us. I'm gonna give you just a short life lesson. Don't take life too seriously because no one's gonna make it out alive. And uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, I just want to say thank you for watching because uh, lately my channel has been growing, which I'm really happy about, and all the positive feedback. Uh, I just wanted to say that don't be afraid to be a little bit silly and goofy in life because, as I said, no one will make it out alive. So guys, the bite seems to have died off and uh, more rain is coming. I already got a shower from the rain, so at least we caught one keeper. I had some more bites, but didn't manage to set the hook. However, I don't want it to go to waste, so of course I'm going to honor it by eating it. Now this looks horrible I know but this is quite easy, I usually do that with flatfish, I basically just rip off the head. And this one is quite thick so I'm not sure if it will be possible. There we go. See this is a male I think because... 
cut it open a little bit more. My hands <laughs> are so cold, so it's hard to hold it even. There you go. Now, I'm not an expert, but I think this is sperm sac. Which is good because I don't want to keep any females. Squeeze it out. There we go. Yeah, he was full. But there's some meat on him. It will make lunch for me tomorrow. Here's the head and the guts. Let's pour them into the ocean. So other creatures can eat them. Okay, I'll see you back in the kitchen. Okay guys, so this is the next day. My plan is to uh, actually fillet it, even though it's only one fish, but it will be enough for me. And I'm gonna try a new recipe I'm really excited about. Now, I can say I did a perfect fillet job, but still okay, I think. This is the meat we ended up with. Next, coated in flour, egg, and then some special pan fry that I bought, that I got a tip from a friend. Really excited to try it out. Now, on the side, I'll be having rice. And uh, just a quick tip, make sure to rinse your rice before you cook it, so you can see it turns white. The reason is there's a lot of starch in it. So when you get rid of the starch, this makes the rice less sticky and tastier. That's what I've learned at least. So I'll keep pouring water, rinsing it and throwing out the excess until it gets clear. This is the pan fry coating that I'll be using. It's called panko and it's basically bread scrubs, but they are much more crunchier. So let's see. Now we take our fish in the flour. Off a bit and into the bread scrub crusty thing. Now I want it to be really thick, so I'm gonna do it two times. Egg again. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really means a lot. 
once they got this beautiful golden color, they're done. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna let it rest here a bit, because we are not done with the cooking part yet. Now I'm gonna take some uh, teriyaki sauce. Yeah, the pan was a bit too hot, but it, it's fine. <laughs> I think we need some more. I haven't done this before, so it might be really good or a complete failure. But you never know unless you try, right? There we go, that looks better. So what we're gonna do now, back our fish in. Just for a minute or two. And lastly, we're gonna take some sesame, pour it on. I love sesame, can never have enough of it. I have to say guys, it both looks amazing and smells amazing if you ask me. Can't wait to dig in. Mmm! Wow, that was really good guys. That was really, really good. So easy to make as well. Mm. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching. Please smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Let's go!